Animal communication obviously can be very complex using sounds, movements, odors, colors, and various combinations of these symbols. Still, human language is completely different. Evolutionary biologist Mark Pagel again explains the inferiority of animal communication. He says, Animal language is nothing like human language. Among primates, vervet monkeys produce three distinct alarm calls in response to the presence of snakes, leopards, and eagles. A number of parrot species can mimic human sounds, and some great apes have been taught to make sign language gestures with their hands. Some dolphin species seem to have a variety of repetitive sound motifs associated with hunting or social grouping. These forms of animal communication are symbolic in the sense of using a sound to stand in for an object or action, but there is no evidence for compositionality, or that they are truly generative and creative forms of communication in which speakers and listeners exchange information. Instead, non-human animal communication is principally limited to repetitive instrumental acts directed towards a specific end, lacking any formal grammatical structure, and often explainable in terms of hardwired, evolved behaviors or simple associative learning. Maybe you've seen animals appear to learn to use human language. They are learning a form of communication, but they're not actually learning language. Those are very different things. Michael Egnor, a professor of neurosurgery and pediatrics, explains it like this. Animals communicate by signals, not by language. Some animals, after sufficient training by human researchers, use signals that mimic language. But mimicry is not language itself. Any more than training a parrot to mimic the preamble to the Constitution is training the parrot in constitutional law. So why is this important? How does this prove that we are created by God? There's a giant evolutionary chasm between conscious human language and the communication of animals. So where language come from? Languages evolve over time, but language itself does not evolve. Harvard paleontologist George Simpson describes this odd situation. Here's what he says. Even the peoples with the least complex cultures have highly sophisticated languages with complex grammar and large vocabularies capable of naming and discussing anything that occurs in the sphere occupied by their speakers. The oldest language that can be reconstructed is already modern, sophisticated, complete from an evolutionary point of view. So whether he means to or not, Dr. Simpson's description of the oldest human languages perfectly fits the Bible narrative. Humans did not evolve language. They were given language by God.